Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to delete an entity by ID from the database table using delete by ID method, right? In this lecture, we'll see how to use delete method to delete an entity from the database table. And notice here, delete method, you know, it does not take ID. It takes a whole entity object, all right? And delete method is basically from crude repository interface. And look at here, delete method does not return anything. It simply returns a wide. Wide meaning nothing, right? And delete method takes, you know, entity object. All right. Now let's see how to use this delete method to delete an entity from the database table. Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly write the piece of code to see how to use delete method. Well, here I'm going to quickly create a method. Let's say wide delete method. And let's annotate this method with add test annotation. And if you can head over to the MySQL workbench, and we have two records in the products table. Now we are going to basically delete the record with ID 2. Well, in order to use a delete method to delete a particular entity from the database table, first we need to retrieve that particular entity from the database table by using ID. Okay. So here basically we need to perform two steps first we need to find an entity okay by id and then we call delete method and we pass the entity that we are going to delete okay first let's go and let's retrieve a product by id so first we'll declare the id let's say id equal to 2 okay so we are going to basically delete a record with id2 right so so that is what i have just initialized id with you know value 2 so ideally this id basically comes from the client right so in order to test this delete method we just simply hard code this id over here and next so this delete method basically expect entity as a method argument so let's go and let's retrieve this entity from the database table so in order to retrieve we're going to call find by id method right so simply call here product repository it has find by id method and we're going to pass id so find by id method basically returns optional okay of type entity so let's go and let's call get method to get a product object from the optional type now we have a entity that is product entity now we can call delete method and we simply pass this product entity to the delete method to delete from the database table. Well, let's call product repository over here and then simply call its method that is delete method and look at here delete method takes a entity as a method argument and it does not return anything. It returns wide, right? So let's go and let's select delete method and just pass product object to it. That's it. Now let's go and let's run the test case and let's see how this delete method works and how Hibernate will create SQL statements behind the scene for this delete method. Well, let me run the test case now. And there we go, test passed and let's see the output of the JNA test case. And here you can able to see a lot of SQL statements generated by Hibernate. Let's understand these SQL statements one by one. So this first SQL query that is select SQL query is for find by ID method. Well, if you can go to the code, you can see here we are calling find by ID method and it takes ID as a method argument, right? And this find by ID method behind the scene you know use hibernate to generate this select sql statement all right and look at here the where clause here in a where clause id equal to placeholder and this placeholder will be replaced with the actual id value while executing this sql query all right so this is the first sql statement well basically this delete method it internally first select the record by using id for that it you know create this sql statement that is select sql statement and then 
it will trigger one more sql statement that is delete sql statement to delete that particular you know record by id okay that's why delete method internally create these two sql statement by using hibernate okay and earlier we have seen you know in case of delete by id method also there were two sql statements you know generated behind the scene by the hibernate right and for delete method as also we can able to see hibernate generated two sql statement to delete the record post sql statement is to retrieve you know record with the id and then second sql query to delete that record with id so if you can closely observe these two delete methods like delete by id method and delete method so there is a some performance impact okay so when we were using delete by id method it behind the scene generated two sql statements right first one is select and second one is delete but in case of delete method we are basically you know pass a entity instance as a method argument but in order to you know fetch this instance we need to make find by id method call right and this find by id method call basically you know uh, trigger one more sql statement behind the scene that's why whenever you have a requirement to delete an entity by id then you should use delete by id method because it will trigger two sql statement and if you use delete method then you need to first get the entity by you know id by using find by id method this will trigger sql statement behind the scene and then when you call delete method then this will basically trigger two more sql statements you can able to see first one is select sql statement and second one is delete sql statement whenever you have a requirement to delete an entity from the database table by using id then you should use delete by id method all right great i will see you in the next lecture